welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus chapter 32 and today verses 11, 12, and 13. Then Moses entreated the Lord his God and said, O oh Lord, why does your anger burn against your people whom you have brought out from the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians speak, saying with evil intent he brought them out to kill them in the mountains and to destroy them from the face of the earth? Turn from your burning anger and change your mind about doing harm to your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, to whom you swore by yourself and said to them, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heavens and all this land of which I have spoken, I will give to your descendants and they shall inherit it forever. So that's Moses' argument. He is arguing to God, don't destroy these people. And this goes with what we've talked about the previous morning. So you're really just getting a piece if you're just dropping in right here. But this is an amazing moment. Moses is taking kind of the role, he's previewing the role of Jesus and interceding for his people. Moses, God said to Moses, these are your people. And God, Moses says to God, these are your people. Look, you've done these mighty acts. Don't you care what the Egyptians are going to think? See, Moses and God both care what the Egyptians might think. God is God. He, he, he can overpower anyone or anything, right? But he cares what the rational beings he has created, what they think. And so Moses uses this in his appeal. Don't destroy them. You have done mighty things. Are you going to let it come to nothing? These are your people. Here's a note from one of the Bible commentaries. I forgot which one. Moses' intercession succeeded in averting the threatened punishment. If it had not, then the theological impact of all the events of the Exodus would be undone. This sensitivity concerning God's reputation is a recurrent motif in the Bible. And there it is, and a lot of people miss this. I kind of think of it as the great controversy motif, this battle between good and evil and how it all comes out. Part of it is God's reputation. Are we going to be uh, uh, witnesses? Are we going to give testimony to who God is by the way we behave? Or are we going to uh, contradict the way he's portrayed in the Bible by the way we behave? And a lot of times people forget it. They're all up and, you know, this is about me being saved. No, a lot of this is about God's reputation. And us getting saved is a not very nice side benefit. But the bigger issue is God's character and what we think of who he is and what he's like. So friends, let's keep that in mind. And this is Moses' argument. It's going to be the argument other times in the Bible, a successful argument uh, when it's given sincerely. So yes, Moses argues, and we'll see the result tomorrow morning. What's God going to do? Is God going to change his mind? It's an amazing answer. We'll save it for tomorrow morning. God bless you.